Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to use SF2 files in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end, follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you're not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this main page right here, which is the home page where you can find all the instruments you have, you have your audio recorder and so on. So guys, let's go and see how we can get started with using SF2 files in our GarageBand project. So the first thing that you want to do is to go ahead and open up the audio recorder right here. So this is going to open up this new recording menu where as you can see at the top of the screen we have this big red circle that's going to enable us to start a recording process. We have all the options right here and so on. So what I'm going to do is go right here into the upper left corner and the bottom in the button in the middle. This is going to open up this edit mode which is going to enable us to access that mixing mode where you can find all the tracks that we have. As you can see right here I have my drum track, my keyboard track, audio recorder and so on. So guys, now what we want to do, if we want to go ahead and get started with using SF2 files and importing them into our tracks, we're going to go right here into the upper right corner and click this button in the middle. So by clicking this button, it's going to open up this new menu where you can see under the file section, we have an option that says browse items from the files app. So what you can do guys is to click on browse items from the files app and this is going to enable us to add SF2 files directly to our tracks guys and if you cannot see the sft files here then what you can do is to go ahead and transform them into mp3 files you can go ahead to go ahead to a converter online and con convert your sft files into mp3 files after doing so they're going to appear right here in your iphone storage as you can see you can tap on them and after tapping on them you can see they're going to appear right here you can just drag and drop them into your tracks and start using them but yeah, guys, basically that is how to do it. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care and bye.